problem, ultimately, is what the 40k novels are based on. They are based on a tabletop wargaming universe that is, by its very nature, utterly static and unmovable. And this works for wargaming. This does not work for novels, or at the very least not novel series like the Ultramarines. If nothing can ultimately change, then no matter how much you try, the stories you tell will always be ruined by stupid coincidences, unbelievable moments of serendipity, and large quantities of bullshit. Now, in my view, such as it is, and what the hell, not as if I've been shy about expressing my view so far, in my view, the Black Library and Games Workshop need to separate a bit, or at least make it abundantly clear that the novels are merely using the 40k setting, as opposed to being part of the overall canon. This way, player Kalgar could have had his face eaten by the demon Makar, and we could watch how the Ultramarines change or stagnate under the command of Sicarius or Agaman. Moving away from the Ultramarines, in Red Fury, the Blood Angels could have been disbanded or been denied the tithe of recruits from its successors, and we could watch as they tried to adapt to such a radical change. Or even better, at the end of Black Tide, Fabulous Billy could have succeeded in cloning the Emperor, and we could look on in horror and fascination as the Imperium suffers a religious crisis unlike anything ever seen. This ultimately is what makes the Horus Heresy series just that little bit more interesting than the main 40k novels, and this is highlighted perfectly in the novel Fulgrim. In Fulgrim, the Primarch um, Fulgrim is seduced by the gods of the war, specifically Slanesh. It all culminates in Fulgrim killing his fellow Primarch Ferris Manus and then being possessed by a demon of the warp. Now, if this had been a 40k novel, and just go with me on this one, if it had been a 40k novel, Fulgrim and Ferris would have fought each other to a standstill before Fulgrim finding the strength to ignore the lure of the demon and everything goes back to normal. I'm sorry I tried to kill you just now. Eh, me bother. There we are, the peeps of the Black Library say. The fans have had some drama, and still nothing has changed. Not a bad day's work. The Horus Heresy series, then, benefits from having an overarching story. Yes, we technically know how it all ends, but the narrative itself nevertheless progresses in some way with each novel. The main 40k novels as a whole do not have any form of overriding story, short of eternal war, blah, 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 blah. This is why we didn't get Magnus the Red bursting through the rift in Grey Hunter. This is why Black Tide had a cheap ending. This is why, even though Ultramar got invaded in the chapters do, nothing of note happened in the entire invasion. And you know, this is why I'm basically done with 40k novels like the chapters do. You know, no more novels about founding chapters, no more novels that promise an interesting change and then shit all over the idea. Life's too short to be literarily cock-blocked this many times, and quite frankly, I've got better things to spend my time reading.